But a good evening. If flying makes you feel guilty because of its impact on your carbon footprint, Air New Zealand has found a way to help, and all it will take is money. From today, passengers who want to ease their consciences can buy carbon credits through the airline. Greg and Rachel Hart live off the land, and it's the land they want to protect. Well, we're in our second year of drought, so that's pretty, hits you pretty quickly. You get the idea of changes happening. Concern about the environment got Greg thinking. Why not use air points to offset carbon emissions produced by air travel? He pitched the idea to the national carrier. Two months later, it's a reality. Here's someone who is a customer of Air New Zealand. They really want to make a difference. We want to make a difference. And it just felt like a, a, a really good connection for us. Through its website, Air New Zealand's customers can purchase carbon credits to reduce the effect of their travel on the environment. The cost of offsetting a return trip from Auckland to Wellington is $4.50. Christchurch to Sydney is $13.70. And Auckland to Los Angeles will cost an extra $88.10. You don't have to... Uh, offset all your travel if you don't want to. You, you'll be, the calculator will tell you what the total cost is. But if you want to contribute $20 or $30, you're welcome to do that uh, as well. The Prime Minister says the initiative gives substance to the country's clean green brand. We've got to persuade people 12,000 miles away to get on a plane and come for the experience of a lifetime in New Zealand if they know that we've got a scheme running through our national airline to offset the carbon emissions. That's fantastic. First world consumers are looking for that. The airlines also launched the Air New Zealand Environment Trust, one of its first projects planting 85,000 native trees on the Hearts Hawke's Bay station, creating a public conservation reserve. We just think if people um, in towns have perhaps lost connection with, with nature and where their food is from, and then if they can understand how it all fits together, perhaps they'll make more informed choices when they're, when they're purchasing. And the Hearts hope by sharing their piece of land, they can help create change for a better future. Nicola Garvey, Prime News.